Hey what's up, I'm Nizio Cole, and I've gotten a lot of comments asking me why I prefer story games or narrative games over multiplayer games, so I just wanted to make a quick video talking about my stance on single player games versus multiplayer games. So the first reason why I enjoy single player games a lot more than multiplayer games is the replayability. Now that kind of seems backwards to what most people think in that multiplayer games you can play a million times with your friends, but single player games you can only play once. But with me, I don't know if this is the same way with other people, but I can replay a story game a million times over and it never really gets boring to me. You know, besides the obvious of replaying with like New Game Plus or replaying in like finding new secrets, finding new dialogue, uh, choosing new answers, especially for branching narratives. But even past that, when I've done all that, I've gotten all the achievements, I just like to replay it. And I'll get to why that is later on in the video. But next, let's talk about story. So story is one of the most important things in a game for me. If it doesn't have a good story or a good story that I can relate to or that I feel a part of as a protagonist, then I'm not really that engaged but games like Watch Dogs, Life is Strange, Quantum Break, Firewatch, those are like my favorite story games of all time. And I can really kind of feel myself in the world. And that's my next topic is the world. The world is so important, whether that be Chicago, New York, a made up city, the forest. Something that I've always been able to do with single player games is kind of lose myself in the world lose myself in the story, in the characters, and just forget about everything else. I've talked about that in previous videos, but that's one of the most important things to me personally, is can I lose myself in it? Can I forget about everything else that's going on in the real world and just be someone else for an hour? And I mean, that's one of the whole points of video games is to be an escape from real life, to have these absurd situations that would never happen with superpowers and you know superhuman healing and, and all of this other stuff that we don't have in real life. And it kind of goes hand in hand with the characters. In games like Life is Strange, I feel like I can really relate, especially to the protagonist. That's just bonus points, if I can relate to the protagonist. And it's even better if I can kind of choose the answers that I want to choose, like what I would say in real life. That way I can relate to them better. And even NPCs that are in the game, I can relate to if they have really good writing, really good character development. Like all the characters in Life is Strange or Watch Dogs 2 are people who I would genuinely want to be friends with. And now that's not to say that I don't like multiplayer games. I really enjoy playing games like Call of Duty, which I've definitely sunk a decent amount of hours in. But for me, it's really just how easy it is to start up a single player game. I don't have to worry about getting anyone else online. I don't have to worry about connection issues. All I need is myself and the game to have hours and hours and hours of fun. It's the reason I can spend thousands of hours in Watch Dogs. It's the reason I can spend thousands of hours in Just Cause. All of those aspects that I talked about, story, world, music, characters, they all come together to just make an amazing experience and craft an atmosphere unlike anything else. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I just wanted to talk about this real quick. There's no real structure to this or anything, but it's just something that came up a few times and I thought it'd be cool to talk about. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Do you prefer multiplayer or narrative games? Let me know. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.